from Sweden, please welcome Lorin! as you come down yeah. looking beautiful Lorraine absolutely beautiful I feel like a doll oh <laughs> well, you look like a perfect doll and oh, um, Eurovision mean. week is finally here yeah. how are you feeling excited I mean I've been practicing for this for, I mean six months now so I'm excited ready to go hopefully yeah but by the way you are the only answer who knows uh, how to win Eurovision you know what the feelings about winning Eurovision yeah, yeah. Does it give you more pressure? Uh, well, both. I mean, the pressure is in the, the, the performance. I so badly want to create something that makes people feel, you know, that's my... But I've managed to, to, to take that pressure and, and, and um, uh, turn it into discipline and focus, yeah. respect and love. Of course, and that's so <laughs> important, especially with Liverpool hosting on behalf of Ukraine. Yeah. Um, with your experience, have any yeah. of the other acts come to ask you for any advice at all? Or? Oh, they don't need advice. They know their thing. Everybody, every one of us have our own unique energy. So it's like the only thing I'm trying to do is just calm the energies down. Like, oh, you really? know what? You, yeah, but you know. Too much? You, no, no. But you know, you're unique, you unique, so that everybody knows how sure. beautiful they are. Sure. Yeah. Tell us more about your alter ego, Alpha Lady. My alter ego. Well, uh, I didn't know I had one. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> you do now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I believe that all of us have both, like the the feminine, the masculine, the alpha, and you know, it, it's about you know connecting to that. Sometimes we need to have that. Yeah, and there's so many amazing female acts this year. We were saying before, weren't we, Timo? Have you managed to go out on a girls' night out at all? There was a bit of chat of maybe getting the girls together oh, at really? some point during Eurovision. Probably I haven't after. been invited no, yet. Your, your, your name was definitely <laughs> dropped into the conversation, <laughs> okay. so don't worry about that. So has it not happened, though? Would you be up for it? I, I would be up for it. I would be up for it. But right now, it feels like I'm I'm at the gym exercising, and I'm, I'm in the performance like every day. I'm Game living, face. breathing, and eating in whatever this performance. Like, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, um, thank you. you are amazing. <laughs> thank you. Uh, the weather's amazing. We're going to let you go and enjoy the rest of um, the turquoise carpet. Good thank luck you. for the performance. Well, thank you, darling. Thank you. And see thank you in you. your new alter ego yeah, later well. on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. So, where do I go from here? Do I take. Here she comes, Lorene, winner of the 2012 Eurovision Song Contest. Um, just to tackle the elephant in the room, where are the nails? Lorene's iconic nails, although they're not very practical. You can't do the washing up in them. But there's the fringe that we know and love her for, which she's currently patting. Her team were actually concerned that she wouldn't be able to see through the fringe on stage. But thankfully, she didn't cut it off. It should be a grade two listed haircut. Gorgeous dress.